Turn it on. Okay. <laughs> Columbia? Peaberry. Peaberry. Oh, I didn't get you a cup of tea. That's okay. Okay, I just, I just had my herbal tea. Oh, we're good. Your driver's license is still not... Well, I just got it fixed, yes. Oh, you got it fixed. But I have to still go to court. Super. The court is going to cost a lot of money. Whew. How much? Five hundred. We should uh, campaign for more donations and uh, maybe upfront payments for channelings. Well, everybody's been paying through the channelings. No, upfront. We can invite people to pay for future channelings. Oh, okay. A discount rate, whatever. Mm -hmm. You're channeling 45, so now we can... I don't know, if they pay up front, it would be 40. Explain that you need to pay for your uh, bills, whatever, driver license. My higher self comes, or guides come to give advice. Great. Because I'm confused as, as ever. As ever? No. Nothing seems to resolve the problems. It just goes sideways all the time. My, I seem to be getting a lot of results lately. Things are really starting to happen. And when they happen for me down the road, they'll happen for you as well, so. I can't say things don't, don't happen. It's, you know, my financial situation goes worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. Mine gets better and better. Huh. Actually, last week was better. Huh. I actually made enough to pay for rent. Super. That's because of Ellie. Ellie did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. She published our videos on basically all Lightworker sites, which is... A lot. About well, 10. 10 by 25, whatever. Well, 225 posts. It's a lot of work. Post miles. Wow. And we still have videos to pop past, so it's, uh, it will continue for a while. Friday we get two channelings. Friday night and Saturday morning we have one. Yes, channel. Friday night is uh, Gossamer Woods. I think we should do both because they're kind of... Important both. Both important. Are you going tomorrow to Metaphysical Group? I'm not sure. Okay, because she called me and asked me if I would come. Yeah. Uh, I lost her sudden, but I think because I'm away Friday night, I, I was afraid of away yesterday, maybe I should stay home. Just. For the kids? Yeah. Well, son, I didn't see her. Mm. That's nice. She needs like help home wise and just too too much activity.
in the middle. This is these two. Oh, these two. Uh, it's, I'm happy to talk to you. I didn't talk to you very well. Yes, but I have important news. Good. I don't know if you'll like it, but it is. The Earth is in a worse shape than we originally thought, and since this energy has struck it from the middle of the galaxy, it has actually 
weaken the Earth's position. Um, there are several things that are happening with seismic activity and the threat of volcanic activity as well. Okay. It's dire that we take care of these things as soon as possible. And we have ships on all continents, as you know. But we w I believe we must bring more help. Oh, thank you. So we have made requests for at least three more ships for your planet. I support your request. Thank you. I am very concerned about um, especially the seismic parts of this planet mm -hmm. and the uh, volcanic activity that could happen mm -hmm. is dynamic. Mm -hmm. Not only in Yellowstone, but in Iceland, Japan, and many islands in that area, California, Tokyo is a special concern. Mm -hmm. Plus, add to that that they have much radiation to deal with there as well, mm -hmm. and contamination of food and water. Mm -hmm. It is an area where much illness will happen mm -hmm. if nothing is done quickly. But they cannot seem to get their act together. Mm -hmm. We have helped and removed some radiation from that area. But if we remove too much, it will become apparent to the governments. And we are not supposed to be involved in that anyway. It is not our ship that's involved with that, but the one over there. So, but they were given orders to remove about 2% of the radiation, which is not much, but it does help every little bit. Just have come to, I'm sorry the news is not good, but uh, do let everyone know that their prayers will help. Okay and that we will help them. If they have any ideas, you have some very resourceful people down here. If they have any ideas to let us know, and if they um, sense anything happening around them, let us know as well. My ideas are always invitations. I invite help from the galaxy and beyond to help the Earth. Yes. And I'm sure my supporters on the site, our supporters on the site, will join the invitation. Yes. We will uh, post this video on the, on the site and uh, ask for comment. Well, thank you, but I cannot stay any longer. There thank is so the much to do, but I thought I would make a personal visit because I haven't seen you in a while and because the news was not pleasant. Thank you for your visit. But keep I your to keep your vibrations up. It's not hopeless, but it is dire. I understand.
Hello. Hello. Uh, I am Pentium. You remember I am me? Pentium. Yes, I do remember you and your poem about your V and our discussions. Ah. You remember poetry, yes. Good. And the blessings and the yes. whatever. Yes. Thank but you. it happens, yes. It has been posted, people watched it and liked it. Ah, very good. Thank you. I am glad they enjoy it. I hope they are understanding it. Yes, it's uh, it's understandable, yes. And, I tried uh, to put it into language that was understandable for your people. Thank you. And uh, the matters are of importance. Yes. It's, un it's important to understand that yeah, Yael have that kind of poetry and this kind of blessings and this kind of feelings and uh, ask to, for the God to come and this sort of, sort of things. Yes. It is important for us to let you know who we are as well. Our languages may be different and the way we speak very different. But our sentiments, sentiments, yes. sentiments are similar mm. in many cases. Not always. What do you want to do today? I just came because I saw that Dizu was here and that there was an opportunity to speak. Excellent. So I came through. What shall we discuss? I was going to ask you the same question. Okay. You have thoughts you need discussed? Are we talking about my personal affairs or else? Whatever you so desire to speak. Okay. So that, that will not go on record then. Um, I'll have to delete it. Uh, I guess my personal affairs, I'm, uh, I'm in a tough situation that's kind of depressed and my, uh, I can't get income. And yes. whatever I start goes, goes nowhere. It's kind of a repetitive pattern. Do you have any insights what's happened? One moment, please. You must unite with your wife in the same energy. Your energies are confused. Not that you are not getting along or if there's problems, I'm not sure of that at all, but I know that there is a different energy pattern to the way that you are thinking about things. You must unite on a single energy pattern and to bring things to you. When they're so confused as they are now, they can only push things away. Does this make any sense? Yes, yes it does. So you need to speak together and decide on one way to think about how to proceed. Because more than one direction pulls in more than one direction and causes failure in this endeavor. Also, it does not resonate with your Drawing, attraction, positive attraction, law of attraction, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. It goes against the law of attraction to have a household in turmoil about how to think of things. Not necessarily all turmoil in your household, but enough to make it difficult for law of attraction to work for you. And it can work for you. But it cannot rate it for the moment. Do I make any sense? Yes. Yes, thank you. But much prayers are going out for you, which is a positive thing. 
people are very aware that you need their help. Some do not have anything to help you with. And others are not sure if they should. And this is your law of attraction. You must let them know that it's okay to help them. You have asked for donations and things of that nature, but you can say to them, it is okay to help us. It will help you to help us. Donate, saying the word donation brings about a different insight for them. They're just look. that sounds like extra money. Whereas you need, even though you say that you need money to survive, they are thinking that this money is not quite as necessary. But you must be positive in how you speak to them about money. Donation has a no negative effect on some people. Because there are so many places asking for domain a donations. Mm -hmm. And many of them are not causes that they would want to give to you. Does this make sense? Yes. Yeah. But if they want to give to you, you must find a positive way to open yourself up to them giving to you. Perhaps I will help you with that. Oh. But you must understand there are some that are willing to give. They just must find the right phrase for you, find the right attitude for you. And they are close. I cannot tell you more. But I can tell you that you, your thoughts about donations have been negative because you have not gotten many. So Because I what? Have not gotten many. Oh. So you've turned them into sort of a negative thing. So do not think that way. You must keep a positive attitude toward money. Although you are constantly thinking negative. How can I pay for this? How can I pay for that? You must be more positive. I know not another way to say it, except that it's not easy. I know this. When there's needs to be met, it's hard to be very positive about knowing where the money is coming. But you need a more positive and I know that you've been going through depression. I sense, ah, oh, one moment. You feel no, it's very difficult for you to feel any other way, I understand. You've been waiting a long time. sinks within you to feel that you are not succeeding in your life the way you should be, or yes. I will send some relief. There's still some slight
It is better than it was. Is it Jim or Benton? This is Benton. Um, I spoke to my higher self about three months ago and asked him where should I focus my attention, science or uh, alternative life? Yes. For the quality side, in terms of money. And he said that science is, he would recommend science as a job, basically. So this way I kind of put all my energy into science in bed. He has seen that that is your higher excitement. Is it? I don't know. Um, it was at that time, yes. Because he went with your higher excitement, and that was where you were feeling at that time. So you were in the high, although you do have a high excitement for the alternative as well. but. Science is what you've studied. Science is what you've been a part of for many, many years. And so it was your highest excitement within you. Okay. Not to say that he was wrong. But you could go the other way as well. The thing is, it has to be a positive action on our direction. No matter where you go. And not to say that you don't try. There is a little that's left here. Do you have any sense in which of the science directions, in which of the contacts should they? Expand or how do you say focus? It's focus. Kind, of, yes. kind of, I tried everything and everything seems like equally uncertain at the moment. I'm very excited about the opportunity to start working in Oksana's uh, second love, Institute of Nursing. She works there on Wednesdays and we will approach their bosses to say that I will replace Aksana there. So that will give me a ground for for action, the base. That might work well. This yep. plan is acceptable, yes. Other than that, I don't see anything that might pay anytime soon. I see that. But there are things out there that will come. Please keep in mind that law of attraction does work. Somebody said, maybe like Kerry said, there is a job for me in New York State. Yes. That was confusing. I kind of don't see that yet. There is somewhere for you here, but let me check something. It is interesting that there are places that could use your help and you would be good with them, but they have turned you away. Yes. The reason for this is because the economy is so uncertain. Uh -huh. 
So I met with Dr. Prasad yesterday, Institute of Biophotonics in Buffalo. Do you think uh, there is any future there for me in terms of collaborations or part-time work? Or writing grants together? There is a possibility, but it is not 100%. It is about 62% possible. There is somewhere in Binghamton, Binghamton, hmm. that they be, uh... Okay. Check these areas. Alright. Um... I'm kind of come up with my uh, with my uh, friend Roman. I come with, come up with the idea of uh, genetically engineered, genetically modified stem cell, maybe with a camel stem cell, for treatment of different diseases, and it would be like controlled where near infrared light, some sort of control. Yes. Like optogenetic stem cell. Uh, anything, any insights in that direction? It looks like we'll be writing a grant on that. Yes, write the grant. You will think your basis is correct. Mm -hmm. I must go. Thank you very much for your help. That was great help. I am very much relieved that that you are, from your perspective, helping me. That's very helpful. You are welcome. You have 12 appointments, right? Yes. On Skype with Saskatchewan. Alright, so you need about 10 minutes to relax before that? Yeah, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. What time did you get here? Mm, I don't remember, like maybe quarter to 11 or something. Oh, okay. So I'm about half an hour on the bed. Okay. But I'm in pretty good shape. They're in pretty decent shape physically, so it's more like... Yes. You're nothing... Uh, only down there took some, and I, I really felt... Your jaw is not taking much in. It's more like my uh, business side of life is... Yes. More questions. So yeah, the Pentium suggested that I uh, coordinate my better with Oksana because she is kind of under confusion. Yes, it's hard for the household. Uh, he was saying something about the household. What was he saying about the household? Uh, that we are so confused, both of us. And work in this corner, think in this corner. Oh, uh, okay, well that makes sense, okay. I'm working more on depression today. Thank you. Yeah, my head yesterday was boiling. <laughs> I, I felt, you know, energy is just shooting out through the top of the head. It was painful. <laughs> because I've met several people and discussed science for a long time and, you know, it's not, I'm not used to that. And it was new science for me, so it was double. 
spread it was nice that people, you know, it was positive. Good. That's always good. It's nice to see people discussing science and, you know, it was for real. I'm Lydia. Thank you, Lydia. Welcome. Nice to meet you. You've met me before. I am one of your spirit guides. Yes, I remember. Yes. You need to speak to us and tell us what you need out loud. We cannot hear you all the time. Do you, do you ever want us to help in a way that we can? We need to hear your voice. We need to know exactly what it is that you need. When I speak to Oksana, do you listen? Mm, yes, but there are some times when speaking to another person does not necessarily speak to what you need. Uh -huh. So you must speak to us for your particular needs. Do we I cannot mean? help you if we just try to read that jumble of a brain of yours. We must hear what you need out loud so that we may work with it. And maybe not just once, because there are more than one of us and we can understand things differently sometimes. So we need you to be specific. What language do you understand? You may speak either, but make sure it is specific. What introduction should I say? Dear guides or how do I say Yes. This is for the spirit guides. Okay. And then speak out loud what your needs are, what you, your physical ailments are as well, because we can help with that as well. You see, stress and emotions cause physical pain at times, and we are able, able to help you with that. It does not alleviate completely all at once, but over time, it does get better. This also will get better, but you must speak to us. We just learned about this today. So, because we heard them talking with your other friend. So, your other friend actually talked to us and told us what was happening. And so we have come to you I am the representative. We have come to you and are asking for you to speak yourself more clearly. Okay. Uh, what, what else? Tell, tell me more. What more do you want to know? Uh, tell me about yourself. I am Lydia. I am a spirit guide with the other three spirit guides that are here. Uh -huh. If they choose to tell you their names, they may. I have given you permission to speak to me by my name, Lydia. Uh huh. And what's your specialty? My specialty is emotions. Uh huh. And your emotions are playing havoc with the mind and the body, so you need to speak to me. What's your history? I have lived many, many lives, both alien and human. Three different kinds of alien lives, actually, uh -huh. and uh, many different parts of your world have I lived in in many different lives, and so I am here as someone who knows all about emotion. Excellent. Uh, could you invite others to introduce themselves? Yes, but I am not sure they will. Okay. But right now, I have come because I could not see. I could not bear to see you suffer uh -huh. any more than you are suffering now. Your depression gets very painful. Yes, and it, that you realize that it's painful for us as well to see you this way. And we do empathically feel many of the things that you feel. And that is one thing we do feel, is your emotional depression. Well, you see, I feel it more than any of them, because I am in charge of those. Uh -huh. But 
they see what I am going through and they feel them as well. I talk to you every time I meditate. Do you hear? Sometimes. Do you speak out loud? I will hear it more. Uh -huh. You don't have to speak loud. You can be soft. But I have to make sure of what you're saying. Do you understand? Because you have a muddled brain and many times when you are speaking in your meditations, many other things are coming through. And many of those other things are not even close to what you're trying to meditate on. Right. So, <laughs> so this is a problem because we can only hear one thing at a time. Ah. Because that is the way we were meant. I can hear about the emotional things, and the others can hear different things, mind, body, soul, yes. But you must be specific. All right. Let's talk about my money life. Uh, are you in charge of giving me lessons as well? It depends on what lessons you are wanting to learn. Are you all together, guys? Who is giving me lessons? We are not giving you lessons. We are trying to keep you stable, but it's hard when we don't understand everything that you're saying. Like today things were breaking, uh, one after another. Minor things. Were you in charge of that? No. Uh, were you in charge of the negative thing? Like yesterday I received a letter from uh, uh, Olga about that they don't need my help. Were you involved in that? No. Were you following that path of uh, inquiry when I tried to get interest from Yes, the I was following that, yes. The parts that I could be involved in, I was involved in. I'm talking about all guys together. Were you helping me there? I was trying. Uh-huh. Yes. What went wrong there? It was not right for you, really. So. Oh, so it was decided by you and others? Not by me. By Olga, pretty much. But we were with her during her decision period. Uh -huh. And there were some others that were more qualified. And we cannot steer her wrong. So we did not give her much input, though. Um, we couldn't. I'm sure you don't understand. But um, at that point, she was pretty much decided. I'm just trying to figure out the whole logic how it works. Yes. Uh, more like the pre procedure and process. Yes, so they take the information. This, the way Olga works, she took the information and she matched it up with what she is looking for and she also matched it up in the wording of each thing that was on the comparable sheet. I'm sorry, I'm talking about not Olga, but you guys, the, the guides. Ah, what do you mean? How would the guys help? Ah, we would, we would help her pick out those things that would help you in this situation. Uh -huh. However, she had found someone that the wording on their application, so to speak, and the wording on her needs were very similar. She found a very similar person to match the, the needs. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And your words, you had perhaps two or three words that matched, but she found much more what she called key words in someone else's resume. Are, are you, do you know what you're talking about? Do I know what I'm talking about? Yeah, are you aware of Olga Chernova? Chernova. In, Bas in, in Buffalo. This is who you're speaking of? Yes, who, who, who are you speaking about? I believe it is the same person, why? Because we, we didn't send it resumes, it was a different type of relationship. Was it a spoken word then? Yeah, we met with her. Why? I spoke about There was no written word at all. Oh, there was a written word. But I don't think they have any competitor to me. They said there was someone with resume. I don't think it happened. It wasn't a job. It was a business contract. Let me check something. All right.
Ha! There was a resume that she was looking at that had many keywords from what she would describe to this person in a, in a letter. It is a resume. There is a resume there that I see. Uh-huh. Perhaps a, it, it may not be yours, but there is a resume there that I see. Okay. But, um, and it has, she had decided that this person would be part of whatever she's doing. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, so they just found another person to do the work. Yes. Instead of taking my services. Yes. That's fine. Oh, there is a, yes, there is a resume there. What else has happened again? Oh. I believe perhaps she asked for it after she spoke to them. So I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, who is giving me trouble? Is it you guys are always helping or you're sometimes giving me lessons? We give lessons, but they are not at this time. We are not giving you a lesson at this time. Early in this, earlier in this, what you're going through, uh -huh. there were lessons, and they were learned. But now there is a, another lesson to learn, but it is not for us to give. Oh, who is, the, who is doing that? The higher self. Is he doing that through his own actions, or he has helpers? I do not know. I do not think no, he process, is. the process, the process. How in general? Ah, the process, the process is subconscious and conscious. And he is doing it on his own. For example, uh, that was an interesting thing. Like, I was, a couple of years ago, maybe, I don't remember that, some years ago, I was walking down a familiar path. Yes to the lake, my favorite place on the beach. Do you know this place? I'm there all the time, like all free time. Ah, oh, on Durant, Durant beach? beach? Yes. And from the parking lot, you can go around, or you can take a shortcut and go through the stones, very slippery roads. And I was walking, and I was lifted in the air, and fell down on the stones, and luckily I didn't hurt anything except by right palm which was I think broken for a few days and then healed right away. What involved in that? In the falling or the healing? The healing we were involved in but not the falling. So do you know what was the, was the falling mechanism? Why did it kind of it happen just miraculously? Or something supernatural about it? Yes, it was a lesson to show you that even though you may feel the, very comfortable in and very safe you can still quickly fall so you must be careful <laughs> All right. in every way financially mentally physically there's many things to keep up there is also something interesting happening when I'm driving do you guys follow me when I'm driving sometimes you're we're with you always, uh -huh. so we are there when you're driving. How do you see me? What, which, which way do you see me? What is your perception? Depending. We can see you when you look in the mirror. Oh, really? Yes. How do I look to you? Like Max. <laughs> you look like freedom to us. Interesting. Because you are intellectual genius, but yet unkept like Einstein. But yet your choice of clothing is very late 60s in some ways. It, it was a time of freedom for you and you prefer to live in that time 
bringing it along with you all your life. Uh -huh. Have you experienced these days? With you? Oh, with me. Yes. Uh -huh. I am the oldest. I'm not the oldest. I am the longest with you. Oh, so others joined after my birth? Yes. And you're... I've been with you since the age of... What was it? <laughs> I think one. Ah. Do you... Do you know what happened to me that was... Okay, why don't I remember my childhood? What happened? It's like complete blank with a few spots I remember. And, you know, until I became maybe 15, it's like almost everything is blank in my memory. Interesting. You do not remember your youth. It was not a good youth. It was a difficult youth for you. But one day you will remember. It's not to me, for me to tell you what it was like. But there will be a time when the past will come back. And it will be a learning experience for you. Was it supernatural? There was parts of it that were. Yes. yes. Forgetfulness? The, yes, the forgiveness was supernatural in some. There was also some horrible things, yes. Horrible. Not good. And you can't tell me? I will not. Uh -huh. I have to go. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you. And, and with you, me. Max. Remember what I said. Speak out loud. Tell me what you want. Tell me how you're feeling. How your body is, how your mind is. Tell it all. You don't have to be loud, but you can have to tell it. Because there's too much confusion in here for me to... I will not dredge through it. No. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I will talk to you. Yes. As you can see, I am a very strong-willed. <laughs> I will talk to you another time. Talk to you another time. I will be with you. Talk to me. Hello. Good day. Good day. And say hi to others. Yes. Okie dokie. It's yeah. time for me to wrap up. Hold on. Yes, go ahead. Who was that? Lydia, my guide. Oh, she's feisty. Feisty. <laughs> the bond between me and thee is broken. Go in peace. Thank you much. And hope, hopefully your depression will be better. Uh, I will take a couple minutes to yeah, lay reassemble. Down. Oh yes, please lay there for a minute. I'm going to sit for a minute. Uh. She was too much. Was she? She no, she was good, but she was sort of saying, "Move over. You're getting in my way." <laughs> And I said, I am sorry I didn't to get in your way. It wasn't intentional. I got a call from Nancy. What did she say? Hey, Jeff, Nancy. How are you? Uh, I think I'm going to call when you get a chance about tomorrow. Okay, that is good. Whew. I have a long day today. So you can drive now? That yes. Nice. Yes. I can drive now, yes. Very good.
I have papers that says I'm I'm okay to drive, but if I don't show up at my court date, then I'm not. Oh, well, it'll work uh, out. Okay, so we got the suggestion today to expand our, from Pentium, expand our donation thing. Uh, what then, did he say? He said that we don't ask properly. If you ask more, if you ask more properly, then uh, people will donate better. Oh, what's the proper way? Uh, don't use the word donation. Oh. Uh, what word did he say to use? Help. Help. It's it's okay to help. It is it makes sense. Oh. That does make sense. When you say help, donation. Oh, okay. So we can become more creative in that direction. All right. Um, Sophia and another lady. LJ. LJ? Yeah, remember LJ? No. Ah, uh, she knows. She's very active now. She oh. joined like a couple of weeks ago. She's like from UK. She's very active. Wow. She's a bit shy on camera, but she was very shy on camera. She didn't. She didn't speak when she was here. But oh, okay. But she spoke before the the flight was before the webinar. Okay. And she has her website, she's good doing website, she's good with business and commerce and has some, has some commercial ideas. So so let's um oh, I have to go fifty four. Yeah, let's um active uh, be more proactive with that. I haven't she hasn't uh, contacted me yet. Yes. She wants a session.